I'm so tapped up, and the uh, Valent or the not Valentine's Day. I'm traumatized from the Valentine's Day event. Um, the Ancient Egypt event is over, and do you notice that something else is over? The 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 Happy Hermit Crab friend. He's gone. I have. I'm wearing the the dye and everything. I, he's just not there. I figured. Like, worst case, that the little head would be there, but he wouldn't dance, which is already a problem, but he's just gone. Abyssrium, please bring back my son. I just want my son back. He did nothing to deserve this. Let him dance. <laughs> let him dance. But no, really, I hoped, I mean, let, let me double check. Like, what I hoped for, personally, was that once you beat the event, you would get, like, a little, you know, hermit crab decoration to place as an expand item. Um, <coughs> kind of like, you know, the Valentine's Day event things that we got. Uh, does not appear to be the case. No, we don't, we don't get him. So maybe the Hermit Crab will just be a recurring thing for all the events, so it won't be a big deal. But if not, I would really like Hermit Crab Friend to be like an expand item. And even if, even if he is gonna return, it'd be, it'd be neat to like, you know, collect the different themed Hermit Crabs and stuff. Um, speaking of events, so one of the big questions is always, will the candy carry over or the, you know, the event currency? Yes, it will. <laughs> they, they tried to pull a fast one and not do that with the Valentine's Day event and, uh, they backtracked to, to their credit. Um, <laughs> so I'm still getting over a little cough. I am returning to my live streams, by the way, this weekend I'll be streaming um, Dwarf Fortress, and I'll be doing a whole explanation kind of thing. Like a, not quite tutorial, but like more of a how to watch Dwarf Fortress more than how to play it. But like, you know, because people are always like, how, how do you understand this? So I'm going to tell you how to understand it and play it. Uh, I'm still coughing a little bit, as you can tell, but um, I think it's just allergies at this point. I'm fine like all day, but I start talking. I get this little tickle in the back of my throat. And it's, it, it's allergies. It's, I always get... <coughs> Hate it. Anyway, it's the plants. Hate plants. Anyway, um, so the candy will carry over to the next event, and there's always the question of when the, the next event will be. Uh, the last um, anniversary event was on the 27th, and I don't know if that's the exact date the game released on. If so, maybe that's when they want to start the event. Otherwise, it could start early. It could, like, the, the main thing is that they do monthly updates, so if there's no early July update, I would really expect that they would do the Krill Farm or some other update. They tend to do smaller, more major updates once a month, and that's been very consistent over more or less the last year, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. That's probably what's going to happen. And, good news, uh, let's get that up a bit so you can read that. that their new social media person, as expected, is, you know, actually posting on Facebook, and they're kind of doing a teaser of the next thing, and it's, that's clearly a whale. I don't know what it is, but they're doing a little semi-contest where you can get a whole 1,000 gems, which is not really that amazing, but whatever. If you guess it right, for, like, the first person, so, personally, I wouldn't bother guessing, because, like, only one person is, is, is gonna get that, and it's just, yeah. Um, but um, I don't know if that means that the, this is like hyping up for the anniversary event or if there's gonna be another event next month. I mean, maybe, but uh, that's interesting. And they even posted on the subreddit the first time they've ever interacted with the subreddit that the, one of the users from the subreddit messaged them about it and they're actually curious and they, they, um, they created an account um, <coughs> called I'm spying you guys <laughs> um, you know met sarcastically of course and they actually posted on there their, their English not quite the best but I <coughs> the, the, this this social media person like tries you know the, this million steps up from the last one so definitely happy to see that um, be interested to check out the new events obviously I don't have any more information than I've posted here um, if you follow the, the subreddit it, it will be posted the moment that, um, that, you know, somebody has any info. So you don't even have to ask. It'll, there'll be info out there and I'll have a video within 24 hours at the most, probably. Um, so yeah, um, expect some update of some sort, probably within a couple weeks. I don't know if it'll be the anniversary event or if it'll be an event at all, but, uh, probably just, 
from past performance, that's what I would assume. Uh, pretty much all there is to say, other than yeah, st hopefully gonna be doing videos again. Won't <coughs> necessarily do Abyssrium videos unless there's something to talk about, of course. That's usually when people ask, like, when are you gonna do more videos? It's like, well, when there's something to talk about. I have a playlist, by the way. Lots of people don't seem to use the playlists. YouTube, you, playlists are like my favorite feature on YouTube and like YouTube like hates them. YouTube's like, no, I'm not gonna promote these at all. But yeah, I have a playlist of all my Abyssrium videos. There's about, there's over 80 videos in there. I explain, seriously, if, if it's in the game, I've explained it in a video. Um, and people also ask to see my cat, Parker, who is running around. That's you, Parker. That's you. That's you. Um, people ask to see him, and yes, I have a bunch of videos of him too. Just go to youtube.com slash or tap tap, and I have a whole collection of playlists on the front thing. Uh, that's also where you can get notifications for my uh, upcoming live streams. There's a little click to get reminder thing, and you can get an email if you want when the stream's gonna start, or you can just write down the time, or whatever works for you. But there's also playlists for all my Abyss Stream stuff, uh, all my other guides as well, all the games I've done playthroughs of, and videos of Parker. So just, I try to keep that nice and tidy even though I don't know how many people ever use, actually use the channel page, but I try to make mine really nice and usable, useful and so forth. But yeah, that's pretty much Abyssrium for today. I, I, want, I want the crab back, but other than that, like 99% <coughs> perfect event, but I want, I, want, I want my crab back. Let him dance. Hashtag let him dance, please. <laughs>